Hello and welcome back to this series of videos on corpus linguistics. Well, today we'll be doing searches using regular expressions. What are regular expressions, you ask? Well, they look something like this. What the hell, <laughs> right? Well, if this is the first time you're seeing this, don't be alarmed, it's a lot, lot easier than it looks. So, in this video, we'll be using this expression to get this construction, or to find this construction. Determiner followed by any adjective followed by any noun. Okay? That is, we'll get something like this. So, all, all instances of determiners followed by all instances of adjectives and again, all instances of nouns. And by the end of this video, you'll be able to look for any part of speech or any construction using regular expressions. Okay, so let's jump right into it. Uh, yeah, previously on working with tag data, uh, <laughs> yeah, just give me a second, I have a better way to do this. Wait. Previously on working with tag data. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> all right, kidding aside. Uh, previously, we've seen that words are tagged this way. So, for example, you have a word house tagged with NN, which stands for singular noun. Okay, we've also been uh, exposed to this wildcard, an asterisk, which stands for zero or more characters. And we have used this wildcard to get all instances of a specific parts of speech or to look for constructions. So, for example, to get all instances of nouns or singular nouns in a corpus, we did something like this, right? An asterisk, that is any number of characters, tagged with NN, which stands for singular noun. And yeah, we got, we got all the instances of nouns. So if this, this is working, and this is very easy, why am I boring you with this video, right? Why should we bother ourselves with regular expressions? Well, here's why. The wildcard asterisk, that is zero more characters, could be Cases like house, houses, uh, dogs, whatever, could be 345, and it could be 12 coca, uh, that weird uh, combination that I can't be bothered to read it, <laughs> okay? And the first two are combinations of letters ranging from uh, up lowercase a to z and from uppercase a to z, right? The second one is a combination of numbers. And the third one is a combination of numbers and letters. Now, I assume that you are interested in actual words that are made of, well, to nobody's surprise, letters. You're not really interested in numbers, maybe. And perhaps we're certainly not interested in uh, weird combinations of letters and numbers. And hey, we are, we are used to getting surprises in corpora. And perhaps uh, in your corpus, you have a certain weird number letter combinations. So again, if we use the wildcard asterisk, then perhaps those weird cases will show as well. And we do not want that. We want to be as precise as possible with our searches. And in other words, we want to only display cases in which the words are made of letters only. Right. Now, in order to gain control over our searches, we'll need to use regular expressions. So this is what regular expressions are used for. So, what are regular expressions? I've been saying that for quite some time now. Well, regular expressions uh, are sequences of characters that define a search pattern. And they match a character combination. I know, fancy definitions. We do not really understand things just by defining them. Let's see concrete examples to get the, the whole idea. Okay, for now, forget about meta characters. Yeah, we have this first regular expression. So, this regular expression stands for any letter from A to Z, that is any lowercase letter. So, uppercase letters, in, if you use this regular expression, will not show. Let's see how this uh, manifests itself in an example. All right, so let's take this phrase, the strong Viking dude, and let's apply this, uh, or let's use this regular expression. Now, if we use this regular expression, that gives us any letter, remember, only one letter, that ranges from lowercase a to lowercase z, well, what we'll get is h, not t, because t is an uppercase letter, we'll get e, 
we'll get S and then T and then R. We won't get V and then we'll get the rest as well. Right. Now, how about uppercase letters? Well, you guessed it. The regular expression will be something like this. Any letter from uppercase A to uppercase Z uh, will be uh, yeah, catched by this regular expression. So again, to use the same example, the strong, like in dude, well, this regular expression will catch T and V. Now, we know that words are not all the time uh, in lowercase only or in uppercase only. So we want a regular expression that matches both uppercase and lowercase combinations. And it is really helpful to think of this as letter combinations. Forget about nouns and meanings for now. Just think of this as a combination of characters because this is what computers or software uh, really understand. Okay, so if we want a combination of uppercase and lowercase letters or characters, then this is the regular expression to go for. So any uh, letter from uppercase A to uppercase Z and any letter from lowercase A to lowercase Z. Now, if we use this expression again in this uh, phrase, then what this expression will catch is T and H and E and S and so on. Okay, so if we use this in AntConc, it will give us something like this. Now, as you can see, this regular expression catches only single letters, right? So any letter that ranges from uppercase A to lowercase z will be uh, cast by this expression. So here we have all uh, lowercase letters, here we have an uppercase letter, so on. Right. This is not really productive and not really helpful. We want to catch words, not single uh, letters. Well, to do that, we just need to do a very simple modification. All we have to do is add a plus sign. So now this expression, uh, yeah, any uh, combination of letters from, ranging from, lower case, from uppercase A to lowercase z, followed by a plus, which means repetition, will give us something like the strong Viking and tooth. So this regular expression, in other words, stands for a word or a combination, remember, of letters ranging from A to Z. And if you are interested in simply uh, lowercase letters, then you can do without the uppercase A to Z here and just uh, leave A to Z followed by a plus and then it will give you only strong and only tooth. Okay, so this is what it looks like in Antkhank. Right, so now to uh, explain what meta characters are and so on. Well, meta characters are uh, match patterns or combination of literal characters. So in this example, house 1993 is a weird example. So all of these characters are literal characters. And this regular expression is a combination of meta characters that match certain patterns. So pause the video here and think what would this regular expression catch in this sentence? Or this, yeah, this is this sentence. Yeah, pause the video if you like, and I'll continue again. Right, now this regular expression will catch the following. So house is a weird name. Now it wouldn't catch 1993 because you guessed it. Uh, the regular expression uh, consists of letters only, not numbers. But still, if you do this in AntConc, it will give you also cases in which the, the word is a combination of words and letters. And why is that? Well, because here, after the plus time, we didn't add a white space. Okay, so if you add a white space, then what you'll get is only a combination of letters followed by a white space. So is followed by a white space, a followed by a white space, and so on. Here the word house or the letter combination is followed by a number. And since here you didn't specify what should come after the word combination, well, this word will, uh, will show as well. So in order to restrict the, the search for purely uh, letter combinations, then all you have to do is what, add a white space. Again, why is this important? Well, it is important when you're working with tagged data. Let's see how. Well, 
let's look for any singular noun in the corpus. Previously, we've used the, this expression. Now, we are using this one to show only cases of letter combinations, right, with the tag and n. So what this will give us is case like, cases like rabbit. And again, don't think of it as a rabbit, the animal. Think of it as an uppercase letter combined with lowercase letters. It will give us home, all lowercase letters. It will give us ACDC, all uppercase letters. And sadly, it will give us also adults. And adults is a plural noun. And we are interested in singular nouns only. So why would adults show? Well, because adults is tagged this way. So adults underscore and an S. And if we do not add a white space here, then what's the regular expression we'll catch is this. And it would disregard S, but still this uh, word or this combination will show in the results. So in order to display only cases in which there is nothing after NN, which is the tag for singular noun, well, you guessed it. Add a white space and you you would be done with uh, plurals. Okay, now let's do some practice. Open Antkang, you know the drill by now. Go to File, Open File, select your tagged corpus. And uh, let's use this regular expression. And remember, please add a white space here. And make sure to check regex. Okay, so if you use this expression uh, looking for words, it wouldn't show. So make sure to check regex. Right, do that. And now, as you can see, all instances of, instances of nouns are displayed in front of you. And the reason why I uh, left the tags uh, yeah, to be showed is so that you can see how things are uh, processed by Antkank, if you will. So here we have any combination of letters, that is this, this one, any combination of letters with the tag and N, which is this one. And notice that the tag and N is always followed by white space, white space, white space, and so on. So this is why we need to add white space Otherwise, you'll run into trouble. Okay, if you want to hide the tags, go to global settings, tag, hide tags, while at the same time allowed for Antcon to search in concordance and so on. Hit apply, and now as you can see, you're left with all instances of nouns in your corpus or singular nouns. Okay, so by the same logic, let's, apply, let's look for uh, constructions. And by the way, you can use uh, this with basically any parts of speech. So you can change NN with, for example, uh, IN, and you'll get cases of preposition. Now, let's look for constructions. Uh, okay, so more specifically, let's look for determiner, adjective, and noun. Previously, we've done it this way, right? Now we have seen that it's not really uh, precise. Uh, so we did, uh, or we typed, an asterisk which stands for any number of characters that are tagged with DT, that is determiner. Any combination or number of characters with the tag JJ, which is an adjective. And any number of characters with the tag N. And then an asterisk. And that is because we are not looking at, or not looking for singular nouns only or plural nouns only. Rather, we want to catch all of these in one simple search. So that is a plural noun, uh, no, a singular noun, plural noun. A proper noun and a uh, plural proper noun. Okay, that is why we added the asterisk previously. So now let's have more control over our search and use this expression instead. So any combination of letters, be them uppercase or lowercase, that are tagged with DT, white space, any combination of letters tagged with JJ, white space again, and any combination of letters tagged with N, and then a dot which stands for any character and then another dot which stands for any character because the first dot will stand for n or p and the second dot will stand for either nothing or s okay do that yeah make sure to check regex and now as you can see all instances of that construction are displayed in front of you so notice here that we have an uppercase letter uh, combined with lowercase letters, uh, we have a singular noun here. Here we have a plural noun, and 
again a combination of uppercase and lowercase letters. Here you have all uh, lowercase letter combinations. What else? Here we have a noun that starts with an uppercase letter and well, you get the gist now. Right, and you can use this logic to look for any part of speech or any construction your heart desires. Uh, okay, so if yeah, if you want to hide tags, you can hide tags and it will look something like this. Right. It is important to note this. Some corpora are tagged differently. So not all corpora are tagged the way I've been showing in the videos. Uh, yeah, we've been working with tags like these ones. But some corpora are not tagged this way. Some corpora are tagged, for example, this way. So instead of having the keyword then tagged with uh, the tag to its right, some corpora are tagged uh, this way. So you have the tag to the left of the word, then the keyword is to the right of the tag. So house, for example, is tagged this way, and on, for example, is tagged this way. It's not really a problem. You can still apply the same logic and look for uh, these parts of speech or constructions using regular expressions. So instead of doing it this way, all you have to do is leave the tag and then to its right attach this expression which stands for any combination of letters, right? By the same logic, you can do that in other parts of speech as well. So instead of having any combination of letters tagged with IN, you can start with the actual tag and then any combination of letters because remember that is how the corpus is tagged. Okay, so just uh, notice how the corpus is tagged and replace the keywords with this expression. Sorry, yeah, this one. Okay, now if you want to understand regular expressions better, this is a great, great website that you can use. Uh, yeah, there are a lot of definitions, and as you can see here, they explain each uh, regular expression separately. Here you find all definitions that you need, and what is fabulous about this website, yeah, I say fabulous, <laughs> is that you can practice. So after each lesson, you'll have here a little exercise so that you can get uh, acquainted with uh, these regular expressions. If uh, for some reason you do not really enjoy uh, learning things this way and prefer watching videos, well, here is a great, great channel that you can visit. And uh, yeah, you can learn regular expressions watching these extremely, extremely interesting <laughs> funny and entertaining uh, videos. Link is in the description down below. So obviously in this channel there are a lot of coding related stuff, but uh, there is a series of videos on regular expressions. And well, let me just show you a glimpse of what, uh, of what you'll be looking at. Just color, you can see what I match. So I could say color with an optional U, right? Like that and with an optional S. So look at this. This regular expression is match C, literally C, followed by zero, followed by L, followed by, not zero. <laughs> I couldn't, I could have it be also or zero. C, followed by O, followed by L, followed by O, followed by U, optionally. Followed by R, followed by S, optionally. So, now you understand why I said it's really fun and, and uh, entertaining and also interesting. Uh, anyone who can make uh, the spelling of color uh, come to life and yeah, be entertaining well, obviously he's a great teacher. Okay, uh, another thing, I know that in this channel, well, we mostly worked uh, with corpora that are uh, downloaded or that are saved in your computer and we do not, did not really cover online corpora. If you are interested in online corpora, well, here, here is another channel that you can visit. Uh, he has a bunch of videos on uh, uh, online corpora related stuff. So there are some tutorials there how you can search the COCA corpus and yeah, basically you can apply the same logic to uh, do searches in other online corpora such as the BNC and so on. And I really recommend checking out uh, his videos. They're really interesting and uh, informative really. So again, links are in the description down below. I hope you find this video interesting. I hope that uh, you're not now scared of regular expressions. And uh, yeah, any comments, any feedback, uh, feel free to leave your comments in the comment section down below and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching bye bye ciao ciao